Well, what's up, three pound fishing nation? I've decided I'm gonna go out and make a video before a big old winter blast happens. Maybe a couple videos, I'm not sure. Today, tomorrow, we've got a couple days before this happens, but uh, when that happens, I don't know, this, this lake might uh, lock up with ice. But anyway, what I thought I'd do today is kind of talk to you a little bit about that Garmin update. We're gonna get some uh, active captain going and, and focus in a little bit on that. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing, partnered up with these fantastic companies. Welcome back to Three Pound Fishing. We're gonna talk about the Garmin update. I'm not an expert at all these updates. A lot of people have already put videos out on it. I'm just gonna tell you how I've got mine set up and uh, whether or not I like it or not. So this will be the second time I've gone out with it. Uh, I've seen some videos now about the ghost tree and get, make sure that that's set up on auto. So I just did that. We're gonna see if that makes a any difference so we're gonna get some fish in the boat hopefully and what well, we're going to you know check out the guide trips the month of february has definitely some availability we hit the we hit we had to uh darbone at the end of the month but right now if you're interested in a guides trip look me up the bite's been incredible so i don't know let's do this all right so there's my image right now and hopefully i can and there's a little piece of structure there at 40 feet. So we want to see what these settings do. So right now you can see the layout has changed with this new update, which is pretty cool. I like it. Um, so in our setup, Ghost Tree, I do have set to auto already. I just want to see what it does. I just kind of walk. Oop, I didn't mean to do that. Ghost Tree is on low. We go to medium. All right, so that's Ghost Tree. I like the picture there a little bit better. High is a little, okay, Ghost Tree. So all I'm doing is I'm just kind of going through them all and seeing what I like better. And right now, I'm gonna say I like it on low. So I'm gonna keep it on low real quick. And then I go to Appearance, and we're gonna go to this color limit. And, um, you know, I'm gonna tweak it to what I think is ideal and right now based off of the image I see I'm gonna keep it right there for right now then I'm gonna go back to the gain which I'm sure there's an easier way to do that I just want to see where I'm at with gain so right now I'm at 68 69. so we're gonna start with that today and that's how we're gonna fish and kind of tweak it from there and I'm gonna give you some feedback uh, on what I like and dislike but if you know sonar setup Noise reject set to high. Ghost tree is now set to low. Um, appearance, let's go to this color limit deal here. I mean, that just looks really burnt out. So I really want something kind of a mixture, and that's why I'm gonna I'm gonna favor something around there. I don't know if that makes any sense, folks. That's where I'm gonna start. So um, correct me or I'd love to hear if anybody has some opinions on that. First sign of fish, folks. We're gonna throw it out there and see what happens. plastics that I made catch some good fish right there we're gonna hold some back just because I've got a, a friend out on the water I think he's gonna want some so I'll hold some back now I have to admit I'm not too excited about this update right now I'm not saying that's how I'm gonna feel at the end but right now I do not feel like I'm picking up my stuff nearly as quick as I used to. So I'm gonna tweak a little bit. I'm gonna turn the gain up big time. I'm gonna go all the way up to 70. And the only problem I have with going up to 70 is that I feel like I'm picking up a lot of artifacts too. So if someone's gonna say, well, you should be up at 70, that's why you do that limit thing. Well, the limit right now is set at 20. And my gain's set at 70. And I used to run the gain at 60. And I could see everything just perfect. So anyway, we're trying different things, it's okay. Folks, I can tell you that, you know, the biggest question is if you are happy with your image, should you update, right? 
and I'm gonna stick with that I think that if you are happy with your image you should stick with it um, of course if you ever have any issues with your monitor they're gonna ask you what update do you have and they're gonna require you to go to it but if you're happy with the image at this point in the episode I think you should stay with it I think we're gonna try a double jig setup with uh, with uh, hair jigs Let's see if that does anything I've already tied one I tied my top loop knot right here that's my that's gumdrop you can these hair jigs are now back available on uh, the website as they become available I put them on there so I'm not selling something I don't have and you don't have to wait so right now I know the gumdrops available the carrot Tinkerbell wild child is so anyway a good assortment but anyway what I'm gonna here is darbone and gumdrop I just did a loop knot those that think you can't do a loop knot with braid sniping braid to the rescue you can do it there it is right there it's probably not the the best knot to use with braid in terms of strength but at least that's my thought i think that maybe a polymer would be a really good one but i like them to swim horizontal so i don't really care let's see if that's the ticket we're gonna throw two i haven't thrown two in a long time because you know if you lose one then you probably lose two and i just don't like to lose that many and i always think that honestly i think that 90 percent of the time they hit the bottom one anyway <laughs> so I almost don't want the top one to be a distraction. But when the bite is tough, man, you just do whatever it takes. And because these are both 132nd ounce jigs, by the way, all the hair jigs are in 132nd right now. I might expand to the 116th, but right now they're all in 132nd, which I love. I think it's just ideal. Caught my last three pounder on a 132nd hair jig, a Darbone. A Darbone jig at Grenada. Ooh, I had one chase it and then bam. Did not like what it saw. Interesting. There's one. So that's only the third drop of this hair jig. The Darbone. And he gets hit. Ooh, baby. <laughs> you gotta love figuring it out a little bit. Come on, third drop. Been, I've been casting with the other jig for a while. Right now, they just might not want a plastic. That's a good fish. The question is, do I think my picture is better with this update? Honestly, no, I don't. And I hope somebody can say, hey, try this, try that. But it's not a, right now, I'm a firm believer in don't change anything unless it's broken. Mine wasn't broken, and now I feel like it's slightly a step back i can fish with it you know that, i mean don't get me wrong i can fish with it um, and i'm sure i'll figure it out or get used to it uh, no big deal but if you don't have a you don't have anything wrong with your i got a lot of fish underneath me right now if you don't have anything wrong with your unit folks i don't think you should try i, I honestly i wouldn't upgrade I, i'm gonna I'm stay firm with those beliefs Gotcha. Oh, that's awesome action. So, again, what, what bait did it hit? Did it hit Darbo? I mean, who knows? Maybe if I put gumdrop on the bottom, it hit that one. That's a good fish right there. I do want to remind everybody that the variety packs are still available. Uh, I'm going to keep them going, man. They are extremely popular, the variety packs. You can get them in a the 132nd ounce or the 116th ounce. It gives you an opportunity to try all the colors. You get 15 jigs for $11.99, which is unbelievable deal nowadays for jigs. So try them out, uh, and then you come back and you buy the colors that you really did enjoy. And boy, the variety packs have really taken off. I, that surprised me. In fact, somebody, it was actually a comment in a video, says, why don't you offer variety packs? And I said, okay, I'll, you know, I'll try it. Um, I am considering the pro uh, the pro packs for jigs. Uh, maybe put 15 in a bag or something like that and give them a discount, similar to the variety packs. Um, but I haven't gone there yet. I'm just uh, testing the water. So anyway, any feedback? Much, much appreciated, as always. This is a big fish. Vertical dropping with a hair jig. Oh yeah. 
There's a bunch of them down there like that. That is fun. Look at that hog. That's a picture fish right there, folks. We found the solution. Thanks for joining me. I appreciate it, guys. A lot of fun. I don't want that winter weather to come. I really don't. This is a pig. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you. Three pound fishing, I appreciate you. Check out them jigs, especially them hair jigs. It got it done today. There you go. Bam. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing, partnered up with these fantastic companies.